already know someone is watching this video thinking, ha, see, I told you she wouldn't keep the same energy about that Jordan 11 coming out this holiday. Well, if you pay attention, I said I picked up a Holiday 11. I never said it was the Holiday 11 of 2020. On the contrary, I actually went back in time, you know, when life seemed a little bit normal. I've always had a regret about this Jordan 11. Always had a regret about this. I said, you know what, let's make it right. I'm gonna treat myself to a Holiday 11 because I'm not getting the Holiday 11. That's exactly what I did. See, you were wrong. What's up everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka TJ Two Shoes Chains and I'm in my closet which means you know it's certainly about a sneaker unboxing so thank you for tuning in if you are brand new go ahead hit the subscribe button hit the like button share this uh and Two Swoosh crew thank you guys again so much for tuning in I'm not one that really switches energy. Uh, okay, you know what? Maybe it, maybe for the times that I don't give silhouettes a chance, right? So I didn't give a 13 a chance. And now I absolutely love it. And funny story, I actually went back and forth about possibly getting the bread 13 or the cherry 13 before I picked up this 11. And the consensus is everybody said get a cherry before you get a bread. But I thought, okay, well, maybe I was, I was headed that route. I was headed that route. But then I thought, okay, there are other styles that you've wanted. There are other releases you've wanted. Now is the time to get it. And mainly because it's like bonus money for the holiday that I'm treating myself with. It's not out of my normal income. So it, it, it felt like the right time to do this. Now, again, I'm not picking up the Holiday 11. And the Holiday 11 for 2020 is the Jordan 11 Jubilee. Now, I certainly hope if you want that shoe, you were able to pick it up on the early releases that they've already had. And then, of course, it will release later this month, December. I plan on working that release, which I would imagine we're going to get that shoe in. So I do plan on working that release, let you guys know how it goes. I don't plan on picking it up. Again, it's a nice shoe. It's not a shoe I feel like I need. I still have this. I still have the Bread 11 I picked up last year. And then I actually have the other Space Jam. So I just didn't see a need to buy it. Again, if it were ever gifted, then awesome. I would, I would absolutely rock that 11. All Black 11 is a clean 11. Because when you think about it, the 11 in itself, that shoe turns heads and it's actually pretty simple. It's got patent leather, it's got leather, and it's got mesh on the front, right? So we're used to those three elements on the shoe. But think about way back in 1996 when it first started to turn heads. And I think that's what I love about it. It is classy. It's a true head turner. It was innovative. It was kind of gaudy when you think about it. Because who in their right mind would put patent leather on a basketball sneaker? Michael Jordan, who really did not care what you thought he was going to do. He was going to execute it. Rock it, flaunt it, that was his style. And we all wanted to be like MJ. We all wanted to look like MJ. And it was the Concord. So, of course, it wasn't any of these other pairs. It was the Concord that actually changed everyone's mind about what they think is acceptable for a basketball sneaker. He, he literally rocked a tuxedo on the floor. Oh, and by the way, he was able to perform. Think back to that season, people. Think back to the greatest season of all time prior to my Warriors, which... As much as I love the fact that we went 73-9, and nine, we didn't win the ring that year. So it just kind of feels like it's just kind of sour. We all know what happened with the 72-10 season for the Bulls. And it was very iconic, especially with that shoe. And I, I wanted this now. This sneaker was designed or was released for the holidays 2017. It was meant to commemorate the whole 96 Bulls season, right? They were unstoppable, literally unstoppable, except for 10 games. And so they came out with this. So it was predominantly all red 
uh, Jordan 11 patent leather red upper. The ballistic mesh is all red. The laces are red as well. Now, I'm not one to really go for an all red shoe. I'm not, but uh, you guys don't understand the regret I had over this. So remember now, this was not the only 11 to release during that holiday season. They also came out with the other uh, Win 11, and that was actually more so an ode to his college days. So you had the Win Like 96, I believe it was the Win Like, 90, Win like 82, I believe. And I want that one as well. Now, I didn't jump at that one, I think, because of the whole similarity to a Concord, but do I still want it? Kind of, because I don't have a lot of navy sneakers, especially not navy and white. So I, I'm open to still getting that shoe. Um, here's the issue when you're buying shoes that are predominantly white and they can certainly take on a lot of wear. You just have to really do your due diligence in finding the right pair. Now with red, it's not going to show a whole lot of abuse, but this pair in itself, like the seller didn't wear these a whole lot. Now, there is more creasing on the upper than what I usually have happened on my 11. So that's probably the, the, the most worn element. That you can see on this sneaker. And I'll show you guys a comparison. I don't really do that to mine. You know, there's not a whole lot of creasing that occurs there on that leather part of the midsole it did happen here but outside of that i really can't complain about the sneaker at all now i will say this in terms of the laces i can't be the only one who doesn't care for like the thinner 11 laces don't you guys like the thicker 11 laces i don't think they made thicker ones for red though so i may just have to do uh fine thicker rope laces for the 11 but all in all it's a very clean shoe i mean the jump man is actually still intact there uh, when you look at the insole, everything else, I mean, you guys can let me know outside of that creasing that's there. I feel like it's a pretty clean pickup. Uh, I actually picked this up on Mercari, so it was, it, I didn't have the box. The seller was nice enough to send a replacement box, so I'm really happy for that in terms of shipping. And it was $100, so it was listed for $120 plus shipping. I best offered $100. She said no problem. She had really great ratings, um, fast shipper, reliable product as described. So I felt comfortable doing that. It arrived really fast. So I purchased this on Tuesday. It arrived Wednesday, uh, I think because the, the seller is actually just in Michigan. So it wasn't that far of a travel for this shoe to make. But your girl still got a holiday 11. I'm still... I'm still in the spirit. Now, I feel like I'm even more in the spirit because of this all red 11. It just screams holiday. There are some shoes that absolutely scream holiday. I don't, maybe it is the whole red element, but I'm really happy to have this. Again, you don't always have to get whatever is brand new out there. This is still a new sneaker in my collection. So I now own seven 11s. That's pretty cool. I now own seven 11s. So I do have the Win like 96. I have the Concord 2011. I have the Concord 2018. I have the Bread 11 2019. I have Space Jam in 2009, 2016. And then I also have, excuse me, the Cool Gray 11. So I do plan on picking that up again next year when it comes out. Good luck to everybody that plans to go after the Jubilee. If you don't have any of the all black 11s already released, then that it's a really good shoot. It makes a lot of sense. So thank you guys again so much for tuning in to this. As always, extra age and not your shoe size. Your girl still got an 11. Peace out.